Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube video and today I am gonna be doing a what's on my iPhone X because I just recently got a new phone. So yeah, I did this with my 6S when I got it and I did it with my MacBook too when I got it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do one for my phone too. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Anyways, before I start this video, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, because if you haven't, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe right now. We're on the road to 2K subscribers, so I'm really excited. So go subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up. Request any other video test for the see, and yeah, let's get on with the video. So first off, I have an iPhone X, so yeah, this is the case. I got this online. It's so smooth, I actually like this case. It makes my phone look way bigger though, so. I don't really like big phones, but it's whatever. So, yeah. This is my wallpaper. My lock screen. There. It's just New York City. So, because they're from New York, so. So basically, when you get into my phone, you see my background. My background is just a picture of me editing. This was my first picture on my phone. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this for my background. So that's why that's there. So first I have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, TV, home, wallet, reminder, stocks, notes, iTunes store, app store, news, voice memos, health, settings, and phone. I barely use any of those. So that's just there because it comes with the phone. And then down here I have my messages, Safari, my emails, and I have a lot of emails because I do not open them. So, and then I also have iTunes because it comes with the phone. So yeah, on to the next thing. So I have the other stuff that I don't care about. And then I have Chase, that's for my bank account. I have Clips, I don't know what that is. I think it came with the phone. And then I have Alarmy. It's basically an alarm. It's really useful though. So it's basically an alarm where you go on and you could basically make an alarm. So let's say I wanna wake up at 5, 12 p.m. even though I'm already woken up. I could have all these things to do, like I have missions to do. So I could do math problems. So when the alarm goes off, I gotta do three math problems or however many I want in order to stop the alarm. So it's really useful because this basically what wakes me up. So yeah. And then have Edmodo. It's basically like a Facebook but like a student Facebook just for like teachers and all that so like you get to communicate. The only reason I have it is because of school. So yeah. And then right here is this extras tab. This just came with the phone. I have context calculator right there. And then this is my YouTube thing. I have the YouTube app, the YouTube studio app which basically just shows my analytics on YouTube and all that stuff. And then I have YouTube Tracker. It's basically this thing where it tells me how far away I am from reaching 4,000 hours of watch time. And I am 19% away, so I'm really close. Look at that. Oh, yes, we'll see it on the screen anyways. But yeah, 19%. I already reached the subscriber limit, so 90% and I'm almost there. So I'm really excited. On to the next tab or folder. I have Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. I use all three of them just for fun. And then next on I have Mercari. Mercari is this thing that I use. I just basically sell stuff on there when I don't want them. I made some money from there, so I just use Mercari. I think you guys should download it too. It's really fun to use. I then have this Lightroom CC app. It was on the app store and I was like, let me check it out. It's basically for editing pictures. I don't really use it. I don't think it's useful, um, but I just forgot to delete it. And then I have TikTok, AKA Musical.ly. I don't know why they switched the name because Musical.ly was such a good name for the app. I don't like the new name. And I haven't used it. I actually do not use Musical.ly anymore. The last time I posted was probably like September 2016. And I haven't used it since then. But I was looking through my old Musical.ly the other day and I was cringing. But anyways, yeah. On to the next thing is Eraser. This app is basically for thumbnails. I just like, whenever I gotta like erase stuff, for example, I could just like erase my hand right there and stuff like that and then save it and it'll look like that. It's, it's really cool. It's just for like thumbnails. Fonto is something I used to use for thumbnails, but I just have it there just in case. I could basically just add a picture and then some text. And I could do so many cool stuff on here. I know it's called grounded with two E's, but it's whatever. Um, and then I could like style it, add a stroke background thing, stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically what you do with Fonto. Anyways, guys, that is all I have on my phone. I don't want to download that many apps because I feel like if I download so many apps, my phone is just going to become really slow like my 6S. And that's why I don't have a lot of stuff on it anymore. My 6S had like a lot of apps, like at least more than 100 or so. I don't know. I don't delete anything on there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Whoa.